Hello everyone, welcome to another Flappy Bird lesson. Last lesson we got up to generating the obstacles on the right hand side of the screen and this lesson we're going to start moving the obstacles to the left gradually just like the real Flappy Bird. So if you haven't got that happening make sure you go back to the previous lesson. So the first thing we want to do is make the pipes move to the left and we want to do that under the timer one tick event. So in this event handler where timer one is ticking we want to move the pipes so we're gonna use a for loop because there's more than one pipe so for i equals zero to one so remember the first pipe is referred to using zero and the second pipe is referred to in one. So pipe bracket i dot left is equal, um, minus equals one. Okay, and that should move it to the left as the timer ticks. So yep, it's moving to the left and let's see if it moves our second pipe as well. Uh, yep. So it's moving and so we sort of, um, what do we want to do? We want to move it a little bit quicker. So let's change that to two and see what happens. Yep. So it's moving a little bit quicker. And now the problem is once this pipe moves past it I don't see it coming anymore okay so if you if I just show you again so this pipe moves past zero I sort of want this pipe to go back to the beginning don't I so what I'm gonna do is if the pipe dot left if it's smaller than zero then I want to increase the left position of it um, by let's say 400 and the reason why I say 400 is because previously we were increasing it by 200 for every I value so now if I increase it by 400 hopefully it'll jump forward by 400 so it's gonna hit zero uh, jump back forward so now the pipes are reoccurring non-stop okay so it just keeps going to the left go back to the front again come to the left okay so if you can get that happening then that's pretty cool um, what else can we do? Let's start thinking about how to change the height of the pipes. So you can see here when we create the pipes, we just make the top position 50. Okay, now just before the next lesson, I want you guys to think about using a random number function okay to change the height of the pipes as it is created and I want you to experiment with that and see what you come up with before the next lesson okay thanks for watching guys see you next time